love, joy, wisdom, power, love, joy, wisdom, power. These are the four things, it's actually a mantra that I was repeating some time ago to get into, into this uh, vibration, you know, to raise my, my frequency. And actually these are the four steps, these are the th four pillars of magnetism. So if you want to have an impact on the world, if you want to communicate powerfully, to have the, your message reach people, then it's necessary to do it with magnetism, to increase your own magnetism. Hello beautiful soul, this is Santosha from Share Your Spark and in today's video we're talking about the four pillars of magnetism. Because as I shared just now, as a light worker, as somebody who wants to make a positive impact on the world, to share their message, their gifts, their spark with the world, even if we have the greatest knowledge, the greatest understandings and realizations, if we don't have magnetism, it won't reach people. So it's imperative that we do that, that we increase our magnetism. And for that we have four main pillars. The first one, it's love. And what I, what I mean by that is beginning with first with self-love and that means nourishing ourselves taking care of our energy um, you know uh, taking care of all the parts of us inside of us because uh, when we have uh, inner conflict we lose energy when we have all the wounded aspects uh, the conflicts we are losing a lot of energy. So in order to have um, inner uh, alignment, we need love. This is the antidote, the best medicine in order to do that. So of course, then when we have self-love, when we harmonize all our inner aspects, and that means also from the food we eat, from the spaces, the environments, the sleep, the taking care, the exercises, the spiritual practices, all this constitutes and uh, contributes to our self-love and our self um, uh, inner, uh, you know, nourishment. So for, and from, from here, of course, it uh, translates into love for others, to sharing the love to have this intention and to emanate this high frequency. The second one is joy, the second pillar. And of course, you see people who emanate joy, enthusiasm, who are quite magnetic. Everybody is uh, reaching for them and want to be in their presence. And on the spiritual path, we tend to forget that, isn't it? Can you relate to that? We become too serious, we learn a lot, we um, gather all these uh, spiritual concepts and we become very wise, And uh, but we forget our inner child, we, we forget to play and uh, we lose the joy and that decreases our magnetism. So for me I know this has been uh, such a big realization and um, like not to take the spiritual journey so seriously because it's the ego who is doing that who wants to become enlightened who, who wants to achieve uh, freedom or liberation and it's uh, actually such a big uh, trap of the ego if we don't include joy, fun in our life we miss a lot we actually don't achieve much because joy, having fun, uh, uh, magnetizes us, our lives, and even helps our spiritual practice. Even if it might seem contradictory, contemplate on it, ponder on it. You'll see it is true. So allow yourself to have uh, moments of joy, of fun, to express, to play with your inner child, to let it uh, express in whatever way, which is of course aligned. We don't want to do stupid things, 
but uh, you know what I mean. The third pillar is wisdom. And uh, what I mean by that is um, not only what we gather as wisdom, our realization, but being a channel, being connected with a higher mind, with our higher self, and being a source of how the and the channel of how the universe wants to express through us, to connect with our divine dharma or mission or soul calling. And that gives us a lot of energy. That puts us, um, because we don't use only our energy, we become a channel and letting the flow of life, the uh, prana, to express, to flow through us. We don't consume energy, we just uh, become a channel. So wisdom, of course, can be from, from many points of view. Uh, seen this is one of the most important ones and also wisdom is not ours we think we know with our uh, limited uh, human mind but that's only such a small piece of it when we align with the divine mind we become a channel and I many times I'm surprised when uh, some of my students ask some question in a workshop or a coaching call and because I'm in a, in a flow, I allow myself to be in this state of presence, I'm surprised what I learn from the answers that I give, because they don't come from me, they come from a higher, per, higher source. And that, of course, increases our magnetism so much more. And the fourth and final one, it's one of the most important ones. All of them are essential and you'll see that there are also aspects of the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. We need to balance the two. We'll make a, probably a, a different video about this topic if it makes uh, interest for you. And the fourth one it's power. And of course it's an aspect of the Divine Masculine. And this is so important because um, uh, in order to reach people, to have an impact, we need to emanate also this quality. Not only joy, not only love, but also power. To come from this place of certainty, of courage, of um, alignment, because most power comes from alignment. I'm not talking about force, the wounded masculine, I'm talking about real power, which is an aspect of the divine. And that comes from taking back our power, from all the sources we wasted, we give it to others, we take our value from uh, different people, we become people-pleasing and so on, addictions. There are so many ways we lose our power. But when it, we take it back and we... Um, uh, uh, overcome the tests you know that life throws us that brings us we take back our power when we tend to react to something but we stay aligned there are so many ways it's, it's not about force it's not going to the gym or so and uh, everything else it's about being present and staying with the tendency to react from equanimity this is how we develop power so this is a complex uh, like uh, um, uh, um, combination of these four elements that will bring you magnetism. Of course, there are more other elements, but mostly the great majority of it will come from these four aspects. So if you want to develop them, then you'll see how much more impact you'll have with your message. So I hope this, uh, you found this uh, video relevant for you. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And please consider uh, subscribing to the channel. We'll be adding a lot more uh, great, amazing content for you to align more and more with your spark and to share it with the world. See you next time.